This week we are in Delaware fishing for stripers with bloodworms. My first time targeting stripers with bloodworms. Let's see how they work. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a keeper! Oh. That's oh. a keeper! Oh. So today, we're using blood worms. Very common in the northeastern area. Um, lots of things bite blood worms. I've never caught stripers on them, but today, I've got a good friend here, Gage. You may remember him from the, uh, the junkyard fishing rig. Uh, he's told us that the stripers will devour this. Big stripers will devour this. And I'm not sure if that's true or not. So we're gonna test that out. So a blood worm, Basically, is a worm that has this thing that comes out of its head right here. You see those teeth on there? Ooh. It'll bite you. They're called blood worms because they're fill, they're full of blood. Now watch this. I'm gonna split it in half. Watch what happens when I pop this right here. Oh. Right? Full of blood, full of scent. That was really gross. So now I've got circle hooks on here. What I'm gonna do is put it on a little bit, maybe an inch, and then re-thread it another inch, and just keep doing that so that the worm stays on well. Basically, it's a it's a it's a rig with two hooks on it and a sinker at the bottom. If you guys want to follow along our adventure today, I encourage you guys to get the Senko Skipper Surf Fishing Adventure Kit, uh, which is a guided adventure. What? The little, little one. one. Little one? Yeah. I don't think it's a perch, I think it's a stripe. Yeah, it's moving left and right. It's a stripe. Yeah. You can tell it's a striper when it's up on the surface, moving left and right. Yep. Little stripe. This is like the, my favorite eating size striper, but I never keep this size because it's undersized. You gotta throw these back. Nice. Now let me let me tell you guys something. Okay. It's really important to let fish go that are not of regulation, not just because it's against the law, but this is the regulations are there to keep the fish sustainable keep the fishing sustainable. If we were all to take undersized fish, it would make a really big impact on how many fish are out there. So it's important to follow regulation. Don't just keep one or two small ones. If it's not of regulation, throw it back. It's part of the game. Oh. Whoa. You get stuck? Whoa. Another baby. Big baby. Perfect size. Perfect size to eat, but not keepable right now. No. Right now. Harder. Yeah, that's baby one. Bring it up. <laughs> okay. Take it off. Winter fishing for stripers is during the spawn. These fish like shallow water. Uh huh. Okay, nice one. Oh, we're crossed, we're crossed. We are crossed with that line. So okay, let me get my head. Nice fish, Aaron. All right. Grab it. Oh, yeah. All right. Good job, babe. In the middle <laughs> of winter, look at that. Yeah, beautiful. What a crazy thing. All right. Thank you, Gage. So let me just elaborate on uh, what Brendan said earlier about circle hooks. Um, 
circle hooks have been researched to actually be better for fishing um, just because you won't have the risk of gut hooking a fish um, what, you know like you do with J hooks or something else and so if you use circle hooks you more often than not get them on the lip or you miss them and that way you're not killing fish that you're not in like you know not intending to kill so we're only killing fish that we're intending to keep and not accidentally killing fish just because we're hooking them in the guts circle hooks over J hooks much more environmentally friendly. So we're actually um, joining with this nonprofit called Ocean Conservancy. We're actually going to begin donating a portion of each of our kits to their nonprofit. Um, they believe in you know conserving the oceans and conserving fisheries so that future generations can enjoy them. Um, we support that. Um, and so they actually have this great sheet on their website about circle hooks versus J hooks. If you want more information about the differences between the two and why circle hooks are a lot more environmentally friendly than J-hooks. Um, I'm gonna put a link below and you can go check it out on their so website. So this is low tide. It looks really different. So during high tide, what were you saying, Gage? During high tide, this water lays about even with the end of these side banks. So what happens is these fish will cruise this little levee right here. Five, six feet drop right here. Yep. Probably 20 feet from our rods. Nah, maybe, maybe like 30, 40 feet. Right. Yeah, this ledge right here will keep fish in this area only because at high tide, especially at high tide, this is prime feeding area. These stripers, which is slowly, and even like there's a side bank that's popping out of the water right there. Things of that nature give these fish easy feeding. So when you're in an area where fish know it's easy feed, you have blood worms sitting on the bottom, clams, something of that nature, you're more likely to catch a fish, especially. I like that cat dog hat. Have to. We're all our 90s cat. babies. <laughs> cat dog, one fine day with a wolf and a purr. <laughs> cat dog. Cat dog. Alright, I want to get some shots cool. of these like holes. Yeah, yeah, get it like this. What do you mean? Uh, like, you can get, get nice the shot low. that you believe. Okay, I'm gonna get my own. You know, I can't get the shot that you have in your brain. What are these? What are these gonna grow into? These are just those. Um, like uh, what you see your the mats, like when you see floating mats, these are just a small push system they grow in these side banks in the summer. Oh. So it'll be a bunch of green grass and things like this. I see. You just haven't grown in yet. No. It's really muddy. Like clay almost. Uh-huh. You could turn this into clay if you wanted to. Yep. Oh. No, that's a little rock. Is it? Wow. Baby oh, rock. I think your rocks keep getting smaller and smaller, Mr. Mike. Oh, a striper Ooh. just hit it. Oh my god. <laughs> Something hit whatever I had on my hook, and I think I have a striper. Both hooks in its mouth. How do you think? In the same spot. In the same spot. Talk about a hungry son of a gun. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I see that. That's a huge mouth mark. Holy crap, it was a giant. I told you something hit I this as it. I was filming it in. I'm gonna leave my thing out like that too. <laughs> I'll just leave it out there. Wow. Dude. I got it all. <laughs> Brennan, you got a fish, go, go. I'm just kidding. What? I was chilling. You okay? Yeah, just so relaxing here. There's no one here. It's just us and like a lot of fish. <laughs> uh, yeah, they stopped biting for a little bit, but we've got our lines out. Just waiting around. They're gonna come back out. They're gonna come back out and play soon. This one will go if anything hits it, because I set the drag to that. And this one, I have to watch. But listen to this. Okay. Right? My fish alarm. It feels like that on this ride. Oh, that's a nice keeper. It's yeah. a nice keeper perch. Nice. All right. I'm gonna be eating. Oh shit! Look at this one. Here. 
Oh, they're running. You see, you see, oh, you see them out there? You see them out there? You see what out there? That's a striper. Yeah. Make sure your drag's right. Make sure you're not overlapped. Good advice. See him out there? He's coming up to all of He's running me. Oh, that, that He's might running be. me. Move by, grab my, grab my rod, grab my rod out. Cause he'll cross you. He's running left. He's running right. Right? He's running right. Oh, it's pulling me. Be careful. Watch your drag. Like Gabe said. Get the snook on it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a keeper! That's oh. a keeper! Oh, uh, maybe not. Oh, oh no. yeah, that's gonna keep. Yeah, go measure, 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 measure it. Tape measure now. Measure, measure. Look at that. That's gonna keep. That's gonna keep. That's 29. Go check. All right, here, here, here. Damn, boy, that's a big one. Here. Cage, my man putting me on some fish again. All right. Put it on the plate, but then the wooden plate there. Put it on here. Come here, I want to show you how the, how the circle hook works so well. If it was a J hook, it might have swallowed it and it might have gutted it. That's not good. You want to try and use, try and use circle hooks mm -hmm. because it'll hook it on the slip. It's a measure. It has to be 28. Minimum. This is the biggest striper I've caught in a while. Alright, ready? Nah, it's only 20. Here's, it's gonna be 25. Here, 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 you didn't you didn't get the tail. That's still that's still got another more inch. Alright, yeah, that's good. Okay, that's 20. Right here. 28. Is that 28? Yeah. You sure? It's right on 28. That's right 28. on 28. Ooh. That's our keeper tonight. That's dinner? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Do you guys want to eat it or should we just let it go? Well, eat him, man. Eat him? Eat him. <laughs> Let's eat him, boys. <laughs> wow. Heck yeah. Gage, put me on the fish. My man, that's I just, what I'm talking about. I just did the easy work. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Knowing the spot is a really important part. Knowing how to read the tides, very important part. What you see on the show is just us pulling up fish. What you don't see is all the research and the time put into learning about these fish. Mm -hmm. We all work hard as fishermen. We, will, we all work hard, no doubt about that one. I agree. Let's show Schuster. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Let's Come show Schuster. Get down here. <laughs> What a great day of fishing. Caught myself a keeper. Uh, caught a lot of nice perch. And had a great time on some really basic principles of fishing. This is the way I've been fishing with my dad for ever since I can remember. Uh, if you guys want to go on this same adventure, we have written the Senko Skipper Surf Fishing Adventure Guide, where we'll guide you through step by step everything we did here today on how we got on fish. This kit will work not just in my area. This, this, we wrote it so that it'll work on any surf. So if you guys want to follow along our adventures, get yourself a kit. It comes with everything you need to tie the rig that we use today, the exact rig. Um, if you don't need the kit and you kind of want to just read through the guide, we have the guide available for instant download. I'm so happy this is laminated. Uh, so I want to give a big thank you to my man Gage over here for putting us on some fish again. Um, we really appreciate your help. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. We do videos like this every Thursday. We release them at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Subscribe and push that little bell and that'll notify you every time we come up with a new episode. Thank you guys. Good. Oh, 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 oh,
我唔記得咗咩。We're gonna take a look at what's inside the fish's stomach. Hi. Okay.